Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about how Stephen Amell is returning to the Arrowverse for the Flash's final season. Now, as you guys might know, I'm a, I've been a, like a viewer of the Arrowverse since Arrow came out. Well, I guess you can say 11 years ago, coming October. When Arrow uh, season one episode one came out, and um, even though I did not exactly enjoy all the shows that came out in the Arrow first, like as in Batwoman, I've always loved Arrow the most. I felt like like I always had a special place in my heart for Arrow, and um, now that like. And we've seen him die in the Crisis of Infinite Earths crossover. And, um... I'm hoping... Um... This version of Oliver Queen... Is, uh... Like, a Oliver Queen from a different Earth. Because I feel like... If the Oliver Queen that we saw die in Crisis... May, um... Dilute... His death, or I should say, both deaths in um, the Crisis on Infinite Earths a bit. And I say both deaths because he died twice. Watch the crossover, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Um, anyways, let's read. The man who started the Arrow first will be there for his end. And it is kind of poetic how Steve and Mel will be there at the end. Because he started it all. So it is poetic. Giant freaking robot exclusively reported that Steve and Mel will return as Alfred Queen, the Green Arrow, for the final season of The Flash, presumably the big series finale. At first, this seemed a little iffy, but then Amel himself confirmed the news on Twitter, with um, Barry and uh, Oliver hugging each other. I believe it's in um. Either in the Elseworld crossover or the uh, very first crossover that they had, one with, when the Flash was the only um, offsuit show Arrowhead, where they hugged, and yeah, Olive, and uh, Steve Mamel captioned it. Of course, I'm coming back. Um, th this complements an announcement from the CW that. Some some other familiar faces will be popping up for the Flash's run. Uh, for the Flash's last run, as I don't know why I had a hard time saying that. So David Ramsey as John uh, Diggle, Kean Longstale as Wally West, which I feel like Wally West was extremely underused in the Arrow first. Um. I think we should have seen more of him. Um, sure, we saw him in like some episodes of Legends. I would have been okay if we got like a Kid Flash show, like a limited time series of Kid Flash. But like I said, I feel like Wally West slash Kid Flash is was underrated or underused in the whole Arrow first. In my opinion, in my opinion, if we could get like. The reverse flash coming back multiple times, then we could have easily, <coughs> then we could have easily have gotten a bit more Wally West, a bit more. That's just m my opinion, anyways. And Sadai Ramruthi as wasted villain Bloodwork. Yeah, I have to admit, Bloodwork kind of seemed like a wasted villain, and I think um, Bloodwork would have had like a more bigger impact. If COVID didn't happen, I would say that, that though, because, like, after the whole Crisis on Infinite Earths thing, all the uh, uh, Arrow's first shows had, like, one season after that, except for Arrow, of course. But then the whole, uh, like, coup happened, the pandemic happened, so that year, being 2020, was not exactly a good year. And so, like, everything had to get cut short. Like, everything was cut short, so... I can't, to a certain level, excuse, like, 
them not like that season where Bloodwork was supposed to be the villain. They didn't flesh it out as fully as they could have, but they could have. But um, the next like they had like two seasons since then. I want to say could have used Bloodwork even more. Because at that point, though, you couldn't use the whole pandemic as an excuse, to be honest. So even though, though I'm playing devil's advocate, advocate for a certain extent, yeah, I agree. Um, blood work was pretty much a wasted feeling because they didn't really use them as much as they probably should have. Anyways, but the producers are pulling out all the stops for the era for his last uh, hurrah. I'm glad ML was coming back. Not only was he great as a as a character, especially as he grew into the role, but I loved his friendships with Grant Gustin's Barry Allen, which felt l like the center of the Arrowverse. Yeah, it really did. Yeah, like, I did love how close the Arrowverse version of Barry and Oliver was. It, it felt like a brotherhood. No matter how much they got on each other's nerves, or how angry they were at each other, they always had each other's back, and I, I just loved how, uh, close they were and how centered um um the Aerofers seemed to be around those two so, and I respect that each of the big first uh, wide crossovers ended with the two of them ta uh, taking stock of the world they lived in the burden they shared and the bond they forged and it just it was just the right button for each one. Then, as part of the massive missed opportunity that was their adaptation of Crisis of the Earths, that the CW killed off Oliver Queen in the moment that was cl clearly meant to rip off Ego Tony Stark's ultimate sacrifice in Adventures Endgame, except without the weight to it having actually accomplished something. Uh, well, the reason why they uh, um, killed Stephen Mel off was because he wanted to be more of a father to his kids. He wanted out of being um, being Oliver Queen, being the Green Arrow at the time, because he wanted to be a father, and that's why they killed Oliver Queen off. And. Um, that's sure did it feel like the whole like them in a way like pulling out a Tony Stark on us with Oliver Queen sure but you gotta understand that the reasoning behind Oliver Queen getting killed off in Crisis on Infinite Earths was because Steve and Mel requested hey I want I want out only because I want to be a father to my kids so I am happy he's coming back because like I said it's poetic but still, you gotta understand why he, uh, the act like, the background reason why he, uh, um, killed off, um, why, um, Oliver Queen was killed off. Anyways, that reason that, that, that raises question on how Oliver Queen return, will return. I hope they don't make it this alternate universe variant of Oliver. We need to fill the history between him and Barry. Now I have some lazy explanation of how he's back. I suppose they have a point, cause even though I was saying earlier, I hope they have like a like bring in a different person of Oliver to come in. I can see where they're coming from, and um. Yeah, uh, bring Oliver Queen back, the Earth Prime one. Will I, yeah, I have to agree. Will be more might be more beneficial than the than than bring an old like alternate Earth version of Oliver Queen because Earth the Earth Prime Oliver and Barry has history and it will create that more of a weight when Oliver Queen comes back. So. Whatever explanation that they have, it, it better be good. Otherwise, they're going to get, like, people calling them out for a crappy explanation. Just saying. 
plus Oliver destroyed all the other universes when he died. Uh, Oliver dis plus Oliver destroyed all the other universes when he died, except not really because Superman and Lois takes place on another Earth. No, that's not exactly true. That's not exactly true. Um, with respect to the person, um, well, who wrote this? Because before I continue, they did say it's very confusing and stupid. It's and contradictory. And if they're referring to Superman and Lois taking place on a different Earth, being stupid, contradictory, and confusing, then yes. If they're referring to Superman and Lois' the show beyond a different Earth, then yeah, I'm in total agreement. It is contradictory, it's stupid, and confusing as hell. But, um, if they're referring to Oliver destroying all the other universes when he died, that's not what happened. I even uh, rewatched the crossover relatively recently. To refresh my memory so I can, like, go into, like, season 9 of, or season 8 of The Flash. What happened was, the Anti-Monitor destroyed all the other universes. At this point when, like, Alfred Queen died and rebooted the universe, there was only, like, the anti that was existing. And Alfred Queen, besides killing all the other universes, he helped reboot the universe, breathing new lives into the multiverse. And now, like, we have, like, Doom Patrol on one Earth, Star Girl, and I'm, I'm talking about the DC shows, Star Girl, which I think is on Earth 2, um, um, Brain Routh Superman on Earth, like, Earth 90, um, the Titan show on a different Earth, the Swap Thing show on a different Earth, um, Other Queen, what he really did was he. You can say gave birth to a new multiverse besides destroying it. The one who destroyed the uh, other universes was the multiverse. Oliver Queen rebooted the uh, multiverse, if that makes sense. If that makes sense. So I hope that explanation, as long winded as it was, helped you guys understand. But Oliver seemed to exist on some other Earth space on the finale of. Final moments of the Arrow's finale. With Felicity at his side. That was an afterlife though. Um, the monitor... Was... He has the ability to travel in time, I guess, but... The monitor took, um, Felicity to, like, where Oliver's soul was. Because by that time, Oliver's been dead for, like... What, 20 years? 20, 30 years? And Felicity wanted to go see him. So, and I could be wrong. I could easily be wrong about this, but my, from my understanding, um, Felicity had joined Oliver in the afterlife. And it was the monitor who helped get her there. That was my understanding when I watched it. Like the two or three times I watched the finale. I say two or three times because I was really trying to analyze every single moment of the finale when it came out in 2020. So yeah. Um, is he really dead or is he trapped in another world? And that is a really good question. That is a uh, um a a fantastic question. Is he like? Cause now that like this article is saying something, I am definitely questioning is if Offer's truly dead, or somehow with the help of the monitor. Um, or because of like him or Oliver becoming a specter. If Oliver did put himself in a different world, that would be interesting. Oh, sorry. Uh, they never really explained it because they didn't care anymore at that point, but I guess we're about to find out for sure. It would be great if they redeemed 
offer and give him a worthy send off rather than just scra scraping him into the trash. And teaming up with Barry to save the world again could fix the bill. Fit the bill. And they need to get some of the Arrow stunt team back for the fight scenes. Come on, guys. Don't fail this character. And I have to agree. Um. I know that I like kind of like kept putting my two cents into all this, but yeah, I am. Um, I am first excited that uh, Oliver Queen is coming back, and after like reading this, I am more on the side of them bringing Oliver Queen, like the Earth Prime Oliver Queen, back, especially since like they did bring up a good point that they never really um told us or confirmed if Oliver was truly dead. Or, uh, if he was just tra on a different Earth. Um. And he did become a Spectre. And, as I was saying before, when he rebooted the universe, he could have, uh, like, easily oh, put himself on a different Earth. So that way... People of Earth Prime can still think that he was gone and still be the heroes that he knew they can be while still living his life, but in a more peaceful way. Or, like, as, or, like, Oliver Queen could really be dead. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's honestly, um, I'm hoping they'll clear it up in when they do bring Oliver Queen back. I like I said, I do agree with them with um. I know this cut taking uh, things somewhat off track, but like I said, if they're talking about the like Superman Lois taking part on another Earth, being confusing, contradictory, and stupid, then yes, I agree. Because I've been saying ever like I ever since the second season. Superman always loves to flirt with the whole idea of we're part of the Arrow first, but we're not. We have like people like John Diggle who references Oliver and how he's dead on this earth. Making it a whole that much more confusing. Um for fans to like really know is does this play take place on uh the same Earth, like not Earth, but um, in the Arrowverse or in its own thing, it's confusing. It is honestly really confusing, and I do hope with the bringing him back in the Flash, the parts that are confusing, at least a lot of them at the at least, will be cleared up. So. Um, I'm excited to see how they handle uh, Oliver Queen. Um, Oliver Queen is my favorite Arrow First character, and um, and I'm happy that Stephen Mel was willing to and wanting to return to the uh, Arrow First, and it is going to return to the Arrow First. But I'm gonna show it up. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. I'll talk to you fellow mutants later. Later, taters.